guys, thanks for joining me. Um, this is another completed build from the Airfix destroyer set where there were four destroyers in the one kit. Um, this is the last of the British destroyers to, to be built. Uh, the other one was the German Narvik class destroyer. Um, <clears throat> so this one's HMS Hotspur and I thought I would give you a bit of history about her. She was a H-class destroyer built for the Royal Navy during the 1930s. During the Spanish Civil War, the ship spent considerable time in Spanish waters enforcing the arms blockade imposed by Britain and France on both sides of the conflict. During the Norwegian campaign of the Second World War, she fought in the first battle of Narvik in April 1940, where she was badly damaged. After her repairs were completed, Hotspur was transferred to Gibraltar, where she participated in the Battle of Dakar in September. A month later, the ship was badly damaged when she rammed and sank an Italian submarine. She received permanent repairs in Malta and was transferred to the Mediterranean fleet when they were finished in early 1941. Hotspur participated in the Battle of Cape Matapan in March and evacuated British and Australian troops from both Greece and Crete in April and May. In June, the ship participated in the Syria-Lebanon campaign and was escorting convoys and larger ships of the Mediterranean fleet until she was transferred to the Eastern Fleet in March 1942. Hotspur did not see any action during the Japanese Indian Ocean raid in April, but she did escort an aircraft carrier in September during the later stages of the invasion of Madagascar. In June 1942, the ship was returned to the Mediterranean to escort another convoy to Malta, Operation Vigorous. She was converted to an escort destroyer beginning in March 1943 in the United Kingdom and was assigned to escort convoys in the North Atlantic for most of the rest of the war. After a lengthy refit in late 1944, Hotspur escorted convoys in the Irish Sea until the end of the Second World War in May 1945. After the war, the ship was used both as a training ship and on active duty until she was placed in reserve in early 1948. She was sold to the Dominican Republic late that year and renamed Trujillo. After the death of Rafael Trujillo, who ruled the Dominican Republic, from 1930 until his assassination in 1961, the ship was renamed Duarte in 1962 and finally was sold for scrap in 1972. Now this was a nice little kit to build again. Um, I've mentioned the torpedo tubes on uh, Cossack which weren't very good. These on Hotspur are much better, much better detail. Um, the portholes that you can see along her side, uh, on the other ships, um, HMS Campbelltown, HMS Cossack, I drilled them out with a, with, with a small, very fine drill bit. But on um, Hotspur, the drill bit was too big even for, for these portholes. So what I had to resort to in the end was uh, one of these um, drawing pens. Uh, that's the type I had and basically I um, if you like painted in the the, the uh, portholes with that pen and that worked quite well the, the decal for HO1 um, I just put that on the ship I didn't um, put a clear coat on um, once it was in place I did go over it with the um, light grey of the ship to try and hide the uh, the reflectiveness of the of some of the backing paper that was could be seen. There was no um, issues with construction of uh, of this kit at all. Um, really enjoyed putting it together, just like the other two. Um, and now it's going to sit um, on my shelf uh, with the others. I have just noticed, however, that I forgot to put the propellers on. They are um, painted bronze. In fact, I've used a sharpie, a bronze sharpie, to to paint them up, and they will be added after this video. 
So there we go, I think it's uh, entry number 8 into the uh, All at Sea group build. Um, I think from this point I'm going to concentrate on trying to finish the dedication build to Greg Riley and also get the um, big rig finished, the uh, dragon wagon that I'm doing. Um, I haven't done um, certainly much well, I haven't done any more work to the Dragon Wagon since you last saw it. And of course it's ready to be primed and get some paint on the cab at least. Um, I have started painting the dedication to my wife, which is another entry into the All at Sea. You may recall it's uh, the one 350th HMS Eskimo. And I have started that. Uh, what I've done is um, painted uh, black along part of the hull and that needs to be now taped off with Tamiya tape in order for me to get the boot line. So everything's full steam ahead. I'm really, really um, enjoying my hobby at the moment, which is just wonderful. Thanks ever so much um, guys for your support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to my new subscribers who've joined the channel. Um, and uh, as always, I'll uh, catch up with you soon.